Hi, welcome back to the MPG Trio Reviews. And I am once again joined by the Night Child. Hello. And today, as it's Batman month for Mr. Ants World of Prince, we are looking at the scandalous sex suite. Oh, yes. Going to review this baby. <laughs> so let's talk about a scandalous sex suite. Um, this track was originally recorded in 1988, uh, co-written with Prince's father, John L. Nelson. I know most of Batman was in February, but this one was recorded in 88. And uh, just an outstanding track and a brilliant, brilliant uh, maxi single. Um, just amazing. God, what are your thoughts overall about this whole maxi single before we get into the tracks? I, I think the, the great delight about being a Prince fan is you get these maxi singles, which are essentially mini albums. I mean, they really are. You've got, like say, you talk about Get Off, you talk about the new Power Generation or Cream. You've got these um, maxi singles. They're really just albums. And you, it's one of the great joys that you find these albums in between the albums. And when you're when you're first getting into Prince, you discover them. And it's, it, it is like getting an extra release because a lot of people didn't know about these uh, and it sort of flew under the radar a bit and this particularly this is the most seductive sweet prince has ever done i mean nearly 19 minutes this is pure it, it's everything it really is the whole movement of love it really is it's 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 everything and you can't think of this without thinking of the contribution of kim bassinger and <laughs> and to see you know uh, her and prince um who like I said, got we were talking about they got sort of uh, caught by the paparazzi having having a, a, a dinner at a restaurant, which is quite a rare thing to see Prince in a t totally uh, unguarded moment. And um, you hear the stories of the honey being dripped on the uh, on the, on the uh, recording studio and uh, the short but intense affair, which sadly sort of uh, yeah. went quite badly and uh, ended up with uh, Kim's car being taken away and and, and uh, picked up from paisley park but it's 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 such an intense experience it really is just like a, a 19 minute um extended classic with so many different parts and i think it's really important you say about john nell nelson because this really has a feel of something much older uh much more classic i i think his contribution although we don't know the full extent of it i can really sense this track sort of being real kind of you know throwback to the kind of music that that prince's father was was into yeah definitely yeah absolutely and and before we get into the first track this one i say we've smothered the whole system in honey so we're uh, <laughs> so we're nicely in the mood i've got it's sticky and honey everywhere and you know <laughs> we don't need to know about your, about your about your sticky areas <laughs> <laughs> so we're you know yeah, 18, well, my, 18 and over 18 and 18 and over exactly exactly so without further ado we, we are going to look at the crime come in hi come closer i like it here you're blushing are you afraid? let's talk about the crime I thought you were going to, you were going to introduce it with a kind of ding dong. All oh, right, sorry, yeah, ding dong. <laughs> that was the crime. I forgot the introduction. <laughs> the crime. This is the, this is the main track between Prince and Kim Bassinger, um, getting it on with the honey and um, whatever else they were doing. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? The crime. Oh, I, I love the, the 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 kind of flirtation between Kim and Prince. I, lo I love the, the the kind of there are times when Prince is confident and Kim is a bit nervous. And there are times where where Kim is very confident and, and Prince is a bit nervous. And I love some of the interplay where, uh, you know, Kim will say, well, how do I look? And Prince will just say, overdressed. Uh, or <laughs> he'll say, you know, uh, you know, it's hot in here. You know, why don't you come into my bedroom? What's in there? A window. And it's just like <laughs> the kind of the whole, the, the kind of playing, toying thing. There's this nervous energy between them. And there's this real sense of this kind of Hollywood affair of Kim Bassinger, who was, you know, a, a huge Hollywood star. And, and at that time, probably, you know, absolute height and and Prince, this rock star and this this kind of, you know, A-list celebrity uh, uh, kind of connection. And, and it was so... Uh, I don't think you could record this with, with someone who wasn't, you know, someone you were intimately involved with. And this is, you know, almost feels like you're eavesdropping on something intimate yeah. that you shouldn't be. And I think, you know, the 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 interplay between Kim and Prince is, um, 
I, I, it must have been an amazing scene in that studio, I'm sure. And um, <laughs> we, we always say there are things in the vault that may never come out. And I think this... Because <laughs> yes, they're covered in honey, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they, they can't get them out. Yeah. This may well be the uh, the thing that keeps in the vault, but because um, there's, you know, this was clearly uh, remarkable. I'm just... Um, it, it, it's a sense of Prince's dedication that he managed to keep his concentration long enough to kind of get the thing recorded, I think. <laughs> yeah, it must have been rather difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well, we were saying as well if you're you know when you're sort of um i mean i got into prince at like 14 it was kind of when i was 15 16 17 this was the go-to uh thing you put on uh when you when you were with someone this is the um this set the scene you like you lit a few candles you you played scandalous sex suite this was something that was you know mm. had had those um although it's three tracks it, it obviously runs through you know the full 19 minutes it, it really runs through as one track but there are distinct different sort of passages and movements through that but yeah. really it is it's just, it's just the perfect um it's quite simple in a sense because it starts off i said you've got the fantastic falsetto from prince these these this this um almost classic uh uh romantic drum beat and we were saying throughout this that printer's vocals go from the high falsettos of this part to the you know obviously in the next part with the passion the the the, the deep baritone vocals and, and overlays and it, it's amazing how he how he brings all these things together and uh it is just it's epic it's epic. It, is, it is an epic track. I mean, Scandalous, as you say, it's such a classic ballad and the whole sound of it, as you say, well, it comes from another time. It's got that, yeah, as you say, with John L. Nelson, it feels like it belongs from another period. Uh, you know, just there's, there's something about it, you know, it deserves to be in a movie. It's got that kind yeah. of feel about it. Yeah. Um, it's a shame it's only on the credits. It should be in the movie somewhere. Um, but it is in the Danny Elfman score. Uh, um in the, about three of the tracks, he he uses little parts of it. Oh, uh, mm. uh, there you go. Yeah, uh, at the end as well. I think there's a tiny bit played as Kim Basson just walking along, and Alfred turns up behind her, and Scandalous is being played by the orchestra. A little bit in there, so little bat fact. <laughs> a brilliant track, and and you say when we get into the next part, then um, which is the passion. Uh, wow, this is where the vocals kick in into overdrive. I mean, the the passion. Go on, you go first. Oh, I mean, this is amazing how Prince layers these tracks, these these fantastic baritone overlays, and we say it, it harks back almost to a baritone version of the falsetto he did at the beginning of For You album. It's just overlaid and overlaid, and it and, and it's kind of like answer answer a question, and it, and it kind of answers mm. its own questions, and then these overlay and overlay and overlay, and you're swirling in a thousand different layers and tracks of Prince's vocals swirling around, and it's just it's just remarkable how how he does that, and you could take something so basic i mean it's although there is music it's almost almost a cappella in a sense of you know mm. the, there's the minimal music going on but it's it's just so enthralling and, and it comes at you do from all angles especially on headphones yeah and, and side to side and it just um you know it just develops you it just uh it, you've got to listen to this in the dark i think there's no question. <laughs> you've got to close your eyes and you just got to to, to, to listen to this in the dark because it is you know the vocal yeah you think about the 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 amount of class and the amount of uh creativity prince put into this into a maxi single which you know this most people wouldn't put this kind of dedication and talent into something that you know not necessarily that many people would actually hear it's just uh you know there's mm. so much that's overlooked and so much that prince was putting out at this time that that yeah this is this is i love this bit this is probably i'm torn between whether the vocal overlay bits is my favorite bit yeah or the rapture guitar solo but we'll yeah get to that we'll get to that <laughs> yeah i know what you mean because you say this not only have you got a flawless falsetto in scandalous already which is just hairs on the back of your neck stand up then you've got this incredible and i always love it when prince multi-tracks his voice it's just <laughs> oh, layers and layers and layers and layers and you're saying his bit is going higher and higher and, and, and oh it's as you say it's swirling around it's going on it's just amazing his voice sounds incredible Incredible. And then underneath this, you've got Kim Bassinger seemingly giggling, groaning in a kind of loop. He's mixed it together. She's got, <laughs> it, it's, it's quite weird that bit because it's very, it's, it's very like, hard to tell. Yeah, it's what she's like, doing. <laughs> it's like a bit in Purple Rain. It's like you know, is she laughing? Yeah, is she crying. Yeah, it sounds, sounds backwards. It's yeah. really hard to kind of tell because sometimes you think 
she's laughing sometimes she's yes. crying sometimes she's it's really hard to tell it, it's very um i don't I know, know what, was, what was going on with that honey i i, I don't <laughs> I know maybe <laughs> prince was eating it yeah but I, I don't... <laughs> honey dip i uh, don't know <laughs> We, we never we never saw we never got to buy that did we these scandalous like i said we don't know if it was official or not they had the scandalous, scandalous honey, yeah. honey honey jar that you could buy and uh yeah. i'm sure if anybody out there knows about the scandalous honey jar and uh what the story was there um yeah <laughs> please let us know in the comments we would love to know that yeah did you did you not see that the the uh camden shop no <laughs> <laughs> no i didn't no he had, he had get wild cologne but he didn't have uh, uh, scandalous honey scandal that'd be the honey the perfect night in the scandalous sex sweet honey and yeah. uh, get wild get wild cologne i'll know. tell you that that period 89 90 i've never eaten so much girls honey in my life it was <laughs> mom get me some more honey wait listen to that scandalous again <laughs> <laughs> Uh, i don't know <laughs> what can you do but uh, anyway, yeah but amazing 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 uh vocals in that part and then he moves on to the rapture yeah. oh and wow go on go well, go I mean, go that, yeah that is like say growling guttural yeah. base of the earth moving a guitar solo which is we were talking about it was reused on dear michelangelo which obviously uh, came out on the originals album um quite recently and it's just so mm. remarkable this guitar solo because we said it's not a flashy all guns blazing guitar solo it's kind of building yeah. up and moving and swirling and groaning and it, it, it's it's a very sensual guitar solo it's very mm. much of the question of you kind of mind and it just it it's yeah. such a, a a kind of M slow moving but whirling mm. uh guitar so it just it just sort of shifts along uh, uh, in this in this very difficult to describe way it's just so essential so responsive so move mm. it, it, it's it's pure kind of an erotic guitar solo if that's such a thing which i think it is i think yeah that is perfect I, I, absolutely that's what i would say because you say because it's very slow you know do, 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 do. and it's got that as you say question of you sound absolutely and then but and it's slow and then when it hits the high note it goes do, do, do. you know it's oh wow you know it's like he's making love to the string as he says, you know <laughs> and and it's at that it's point where incredible. you think, you know, he's, he's sort of, you know, he, 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 although, you know, this is a, a romantic suite with Kim Bassinger, you almost think, you mm. know, his other love, the guitar solo. Yeah. Is a, yeah. Is, the guitar is demanding her presence at this point. Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. I mean, I'm your number one. I'm your number exactly. one. Yeah. <laughs> like, like Robin uh, Power. I'm your I number one. Yeah. I love you, baby, but not like I love my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you know and uh, I, I sometimes i almost love these the slower guitar solos he does more than the mm -hmm. you know the, the mad fast ones and what have you because there's, there's something about them there's more feeling in these ones uh an emotion uh in how he's playing them uh mm -hmm. you know you really feel it it's amazing i think i think about prince he didn't just stick a guitar solo oh this is a guitar solo at the end every casalo casalo really was it's a voice isn't that, it? yeah it was for that project mm -hmm. you know it, it was it was different it wasn't just mm. like oh let's just tack one on it. it everyone fitted perfectly what he was trying to express absolutely absolutely and it's great to hear this one front and center as you say you mentioned it was in the originals and i didn't know that on that michelangelo track when i was listening to it it passed me by and i thought was it on there and i had to listen to it again and i'll say it was kind of like you could hear it in one channel on that track and oh yeah there it is there it is um and then to hear it on scandalous front and center it's the you know this is the major part of the rapture this guitar solo um it's just fantastic and then it leads into eric leads with his saxophone oh i mean what more do you want come on we've got multi-layered vocals we've got falsetto we've got incredible making love to the strings and now we've got eric leads i mean if this, doesn't, honey. If this doesn't work i don't i don't this see what gonna I mean, yeah, this then, is... then, then then you've got you've got no chance if just, this just <laughs> light a few candles put this on you are uh, it doesn't get better than this it does and, it, and it's like i say it's it's prince has done some phenomenal ballads but this is yeah, you know yeah. this is this is a really extended 19 minute workout of a ballad this is this has got so many movements like i say afterwards you do feel like you, you know need, you <laughs> need a lie down <laughs> wow you go wow it, it, it's it's just a full uh 
a, yeah. a full experience. It's uh, it's it's one of the best um, you know matches. Think I mean the, the creativity around this time. You, you know he was doing. You know you look around the, this kind of era, kind of eighty nine, ninety, ninety one. You look at you know the get off remixes, cream mm. new power generation. I mean he was really producing s- some work on, on maxi singles, which was just uh, just phenomenal. Absolutely. I mean, you know, as well, he's he's got Graffiti Bridge going on at the same time. He's writing that and, you know, as Kim Bassinger possibly were going to be in that and she was writing with him. So, yeah, so many projects. Love Sexy Tour was still going on uh, just before you know he, he wrote the batman stuff so you know it's just incredible we, we, we were saying it was so perfect it's so typical prince you know we want you to write two songs of batman he said no i'm yeah. gonna write all the songs on the album i'm gonna come in i'm gonna date him passenger <laughs> and i'm gonna write the scandalous sex week prince didn't do things by half so he went straight in and said right i'm gonna do all of it i'm not a normal person donating a couple of songs i'm gonna come <laughs> in write the album steal the girl that's what's gonna happen <laughs> and uh, it, was, it, was, it, it was so prince he sort of flew into batman and said no yeah, I'm taking over. This, I'm, this you know, fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm dating the leading lady. You know, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't even become Batman. You know, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could, I, I suppose, it, you could argue it was, it's just the most famous person the Prince has ever sort of dated. I, I, you could, I mean, yeah. I suppose you could. Um, there's always been rumours of him and Madonna in certain senses, but I think you know, Kim was obviously at the time absolute huge, huge star. star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Prince was you know huge rock star, and, and we forget this Batman was a major event because it was a relaunching of mm. Batman, but changing yes. it into a very dark era. I mean, we wouldn't have had, say, the Nolan trilogy without this. I think this no. it's really brought it back to its kind of, its, its darker, grittier. I mean, we look back now and think, oh, it, you know, it doesn't seem as dark or gritty, but it, compared to what we were brought up with, which was the, obviously the 60s Batman. Yes, <laughs> you know, it, totally, it, it's yeah. It's a completely different world. It, it's literally night and day. It's incredible. It, it is it is incredible it's, and it's had bob kane envisioned it you know um mm. and prince got it that's what was amazing he just as soon as he went into the back cave and saw that scene being filmed and, and and was like wow he just seemed to take it on board didn't he and just run with it and go yeah i i, I you know it was amazing as you say and we we're so used to camp batman and mm. growing up with batman wearing tights and you know <laughs> pal zam you know i mean and i love that that works what that is it's brilliant i love watching that program um but this just took it in a whole new direction and something we'd never seen before. And it was a game changer, the movie. It really was. And 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 it was so great that Prince was part of that, you know. And the album and the movie just rode each other to success, man, didn't they? It was just, you know, it was brilliant. And I think uh, it's it's sec- Prince's second best-selling ever album, I think. Yeah, I think, I, think it it, I, think, I think it worked well for Prince because, A, he was brought up, he one of the first tunes he learned was Batman. Yeah. Also, I think he really embraced the kind of joker-esque party man gemini character yeah. i mean he really loved that you could see in party man he was enjoying that purple party mix things like that he was really enjoying that sense of humor and that duality but also i think it came along at the right time because he you know he wanted to uh push into graffiti bridge and uh warner brothers were you know a little bit reluctant to kind of he was he was producing stuff quicker than they could cope with and they said well here's a tie-in with one you know the biggest film of the year and suddenly yeah. warner's are saying warner's are saying well that's fine because this is a guaranteed Yes. commercial success we can spin this off this is going to be a big number one movie here's the soundtrack and um it's quite interesting because obviously technically it was the soundtrack by danny elford wasn't it but yes. it was like the songs the songs by prince the songs by prince and uh, the soundtrack by, yeah, yeah yeah but it was it was it was interesting that um obviously uh tim burton you know they use various incarnations. I think they use Rave Under the mm. Joy Fantastic and then Baby I'm a Star in 1999. So putting, I know they used a couple of songs um, in the film and essentially they kept those two set piece songs, which obviously became uh, the Trust. Yeah, uh, Trust, trust and the Party. Man. And they still kept those songs. So he had a clear idea of what he was going to use, but Prince was just, you know, I mean, obviously he did this, Scandalous Sex Week, 200 mm. Balloons, dance with the devil you know oh, he was, yeah. you know i mean there's an extended uh batman album waiting to come out <laughs> <That's laughs> we've said before come on yeah, come on <laughs> 30th anniversary oh we're the only people celebrating it yeah. <laughs> yeah we're not letting it go we're not letting it go yeah. it needs to be remembered so oh amazing so that's um yeah so we say we had eric lee's we were going back to that his brilliant saxophone work on on the rapture um it kind of brings that 90 minute suite uh to a close and then you kind of uh, get an abrupt <laughs> woo with the next track, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> which is which is called sex. When I first heard this, that was brilliant. I love it. Was it? S is for scandalous, E is for exciting, 
X is for adults only. Let's do something frightening. Yeah. Oh, I just love you it. just can't get better lyrics than uh, that, man. I, I, I just, um, you know, I, it's just hilarious. There's another track I was trying to think of the other day and um, where Prince sort of goes into safe sex. Um, and I was saying mm. that, and, and it reminded me of a sex because sex is so, it's so bouncy and jaunty. And yeah. yeah, it's kind of written very much with a, uh, with it at the time of AIDS and the time mm. of, of that kind of, you know, that, that, that kind of mentality where, um, you mm. know, sex, anything, you know, this dangerous must be good. And yes. it, it, it was, it was very much, um, and he sort of sings, you know, one lover, sex, two lovers, death. That's right. <laughs> it's like, you know, you, you, it's like monogamy and trust is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll give yeah, up I, all their lovers if you can make me shout. And it's sex, like, idea yeah. of, of, oh, he's sort of singing scandalous. Then he's saying, but with one person, just be, be, be monogamous don't be putting this on with everybody this lp just, yeah, i know, you know just, exactly it, it's know. it's it's so weird because it's almost prince does this he deals with heavy topics but he always has it in a kind of with a, this bouncy tune, almost like, a jovial way isn't yeah, it yeah like, like yeah. um like pop life you'll talk about yeah drive, like that but it'll be very but this one's like very bouncy really like, uplifting yeah yeah it's it kind of goes ding 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 yeah. ding 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 <laughs> it's a really odd tune actually isn't it um and then he's kind of got his voice almost in a kind of camille style a bit lower isn't it you know um um because he sort of says, you know, my name is Endorphin or something, <laughs> something yeah. like that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's weird because like I say it just doesn't, um, it feels really jolly. But actually, like yeah. I said, the lyrics are actually really quite dark. Mm. And, um, you know, um, it, it's interesting they put it on here immediately after the Scandal Sex Week. I, mean, I know. Uh, or was, he thinking, was he thinking, Scandal Sex Week? Well, I've written something called Scandalous. I, I, I really do need to write something called Sex. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, oh, right, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up with sweet. What do we do with sweet? Oh, we sing yeah. about the, uh, uh, well, we uh, sing about the sofa. <laughs> Not that kind of sweet. <laughs> oh, it, it's just um, it's a, it's a very um, humorous and yet yeah, warning. You know, uh, yeah. there's a few songs Prince did around this where he was talking. He was sort of playing with that um monogamy uh sense mm. and it was it was it was interesting that kind of feeling of the late 80s as well so it, it was a very a very different time where sex was suddenly you know yeah. something terrifying and and, and yeah. there, there were adverts and it was it was it was you know it, right. it, it changed the whole kind of feeling of that but it, it's interesting how prince sort of he always yeah, he, he says in. about the he says about the eighties are over, doesn't he? And I think mm. the eighties are over yeah. or something. Yeah, is it? yeah, in, in the, yeah, the, in the lyric, are, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> And it's like you know, it's, it's that time for fun. It's, it, it, yeah. It, 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 and it, it, it's it's monogamy and trust is what I'm talking about, which is something obviously you'd, mm. you'd return to later in his career. But it's yeah. interesting how he, you take this this LP and you've got the scandalous sex suite, the sensual romantic seduction. You've got sex warning you about the dangers mm. of sex, and then you've got when two are in love, which is pure kind of romance. And it's just yeah. an interesting sort of. It is, isn't it? Mix of, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very strange. <laughs> I mean, I always think you, play, you play this and you sort of finish and they go, oh, that is beautiful. That's so sexy. That was fantastic. And they go, yeah, sex is dangerous. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. What have we just done? What have we just done? <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Put the honey back. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It, it's typical prince he's sort of like when he goes one way he always has it goes to go the completely other way. the other way yeah the old yeah. yin and yang isn't it he's done that yeah. many times many yeah. times in his career yeah. and again it's that gemini again isn't it um mm -hmm. the two sides of everything that he always seemed to play you know uh, uh, as you say so yeah so it, it's an odd track sex actually it, um yeah, yeah. It's, it's weird um there's a, there's a great part where he does a vocal bit when he's like boom 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 and it's yeah. just um, it's just uh it sounds so good it, it's one of those tracks that sounds mm. as fresh as the day it was recorded it? Mm, just, definitely yeah, yeah. And he does, it kind of does this weird sort of uh, yeah. <laughs> <he> goes, uh. <laughs> I, I love it when he does the back and court a back and forth between um um he gets the men and the ladies to kind of you know uh, yes. sort of come back to him and he I, I love it he does that on record he does that like in lolita as well and, and, i know uh, yeah uh, it's like he's on stage just... calling out yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. ladies yeah. yeah one time one time but, uh, yeah <laughs> i i i just it's it's hilarious and terrifying at the same time absolutely is... absolutely <laughs> a definitely an unusual track but uh oh. definitely and as you say so then we come to the end of the uh, of this uh sex suite and as you say <laughs> we we have we, we have uh the poor little orphan track that yeah. never never found a home when two are in love a beautiful track when two Only they too can hear when two are in love.
we were sad about this. It's it's you know obviously it was on the Black Album, Love Sexy. It was um, considered for inclusion in Prince the Ballads in two thousand. And yeah, it just it it never seemed to quite sit. I mean, we were saying we felt it fitted really well on Love Sexy, but absolutely, yeah. Prince never seemed to feel totally comfortable with where it was and it just seemed to be sort of it sort of moved about uh, so many ways and i think it it fitted well on love sexy here it's strange because you've got this very sweet and kind of sensual and and almost um you know uh very uh pure uh mm. sort of romantic ballad um after what has come before so it's it's very strange you've gone from kind of sex to all be careful yeah. now to all you know pure romantic love and you've kind of gone that way you haven't gone the other way and it's um it's it's yeah. almost like a um like prince is sort of saying well i've gone into the sexual bit and i need to bring it back with a kind of a very mm. sort of uh you know a bit of a, a spiritual connection a, a kind of beautiful you know when two in love and you know a, 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 and this thought this leads the pack and it's just you know there's yeah. some pulling vocals near that comes thundering in and, yeah. and pulling in and, and you hear it in your headphones and it just comes you know it just pulls straight in and it's, it's mm. for such a simple track it's so well done and it was it's i really yeah, thought that yeah. was brilliant when he ended the uh piano bit on uh love sexy live with uh, with that and it was just you know, yes phenomenal and then it goes, the beat goes doom, oh, it's just perfect, yeah. isn't it? it's <laughs> like, oh. wow <laughs> i mean it's just interesting that he did this at the end of this um you, you, yeah. you, start, you started with sex think, and you ended up with romance. Yeah. i know do you think it was perp on purpose or do you think it was just an awful i'll just stick that on there because we got got to put another track on there or, or actually I, don't I, know. I, I, wonder. I, mean, I mean it's weird because if you think about it um some variations at this time obviously there was various very uh we had purple party mix and things like that mm. and he had he had feel you up which would probably have fit, fitted more after feedback. sex yeah would have fit yeah. with sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. but um but maybe that was his point maybe he did that deliberately to kind of yeah. bring in that romantic um aspect of it um it, it, it is interesting because yeah, yeah it, it, it's a strange collection of, of of songs because you could almost release the scandalous sex week on its own yes and just say that's, just, the that's thing. it exactly yeah. and, and then he had this extra song you know sex in it and, and, yeah. and then two in love it's in it's an odd odd co uh, sort of collaboration of things but um mm. yeah well, I, there, although there are some erotic lines aren't there when two are in love you know um come bathe with me and let's cover each other in perfume and lotion and <laughs> that's just your dirty mind it, it's all perfectly innocent it's all perfectly romantic nothing's prince, forbidden nothing's taboo yeah pr when prince, two are in love you know? prince was just um helping to bathe his lady in it uh, just, you know, just, just uh, you know well, uh, he, he had to wash all the honey off obviously well, so. well of course i mean that was just you know that was just that's, a, a, a generous a generous act i'm sure there was nothing sexual there I, I know. <laughs> Uh, uh, although, although he only tended to do it for uh sort of very beautiful women yes. that's just purely coincidence i don't know <laughs> pure coincidence pure coincidence i'm sure the tea lady never got never got that treatment though so. well, you haven't seen the tea lady but... uh, yeah this is prince's world the tea lady like carmen electra probably <laughs> the tea lady was, <laughs> was carmen electra, carmen electra. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't quite work out the same as rick ashley did it well no. <laughs> he, he was the tea boy wasn't he for stock acting and waterman and, yeah i uh, really well, well, uh, yeah he was that's a he come walking in singing while he was you know making coffees and teas for him and next thing you know he's number one so uh it didn't quite work for carmen lecture but there you go never mind anyway so uh yeah when to in love a, a beautiful track um whether it's intended to be on this or who knows where it's intended to be as you say we just prince never seemed to know never seemed to find a home for it uh but he left it alone after that but it does work well was scandalous when yeah. in love um, I, th I think he did that with some other tr like uh she yeah. was in my hair it just sort yeah. of yeah. moved about and put on various projects and came back and it it, it just um it was almost like you're saying you didn't appreciate this track yeah it, here it, it is again <laughs> <laughs> listen to it again and appreciate it <laughs> yeah yeah it could be it could be and when in love is definitely one of those underrated i think uh, um you know just a beautiful track and and that brings the sex week to a close i mean incredible just uh i mean what is the whole length of the thing 19 minutes is for the sex week itself the three tracks um <laughs> I, I, don't, the I, two. I don't know if you should know no the, the length of the thing i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well apparently length doesn't matter so <laughs> it really doesn't matter how long this thing lasts what what matters <laughs> is that you get satisfied and cov covered in honey yeah. and yep. you and you really enjoy it and and at and the end you, of it you know you experience the rapture you experienced the rapture of 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 the Batman. <laughs> uh, oh, oh wow! I mean, even, even even that cover. Now, there's even that cover. Not many men can stand that heroically, and uh, 
you know that's uh, that's art on itself is it? that even, yeah. even even the sense i think he was going for that sense like you said you mm. would talk about john o nelson because that's a very classic it is of, isn't it when you look at that yeah art. that's a real yes. kind of uh classic time that could have been you know any time over the last 50 years and i really like that kind of um sense mm. of those yeah. strings and that 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 kind of background uh you really i've got work. a classic feel yeah from yeah from yeah from that kind of uh bygone era really um talking of yeah. sh- talking of shameless plugs is that from rocket pool that one was it or <laughs> it was <Rocket laughs> yes yeah rocket pool amazing uh, amazing oh. and uh, i never had it originally on vinyl so um and this one was a us import i think um virtually perfect condition never been played so i was really ple- really pleased to get that so thank you rocket pool <laughs> <laughs> there you go give me a pug for you you know <laughs> so that's the scandalous sex suite um bringing another mpg trio reviews video to an end uh on this batman month uh it's just been fantastic celebrating all things batman uh, a couple more purple got- picker weeks coming batman uh, batman mug you know it's all good oh look at that batman mug we got t-shirt batman things, isn't it? Yeah. yeah t-shirt <laughs> Yeah, cow, a few other things going on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> We've just gone back mad this month. It's been fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's brilliant to be back again doing some more uh, MPG Trio uh, reviews and not rant, which is good. <laughs> uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you again very soon. Keep it pure poor. Bye, Jay. You can say bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> you about it three hours later. I go, what? You can say bye, mate. You can say bye. <laughs> no.